new public administration prismatic society talcott parsons fred w riggs was the father of comparative public administration he is well known for his riggsian model in public administration Rick's prismatic model analyzes three societal models namely highly developed western societies traditional agrarian society or thai societies and developing societies according to him each society has their own social economic political symbolic and communicative attributes such as individual rights and political system Rix believed that these societies exist in a continuum only to be differentiated in terms of functions that are measurable. Rix's own analysis of public administration relies on a functional structural analytical approach. He usually refers to structure as a society's pattern of activity and function as an outcome or a natural side effect of the pattern of activity. Rix has called the functionally diffuse societies as fused and functionally specific societies as diffracted. The model society which is intermediate between two polar types is called prismatic. It is called prismatic because it is similar to light being passed through a prism which fuses light becomes refracted. According to him prismatic society has three important characteristic namely heterogeneity overlapping and formalism wherever there exists simultaneous presence of quite different systems practices and viewpoints it is heterogeneity wherever there exists a gap between stated objectives and real performance it is called as formalism overlapping refers to the level to which formally differentiated structures of diffracted societies coexist with undifferentiated societies of a fused type as explained prismatic society is earmarked with various administrative social economic and political subsystems and the administrative subsystem was called by riggs as a shala model his study of traditional agrarian society was based on his studies in thailand and philippines he also understood the limitation of a one dimensional model especially where he discusses about diffracted societies hence he included a two dimensional model with reconceptualized diffracted societies as eco diffracted ortho diffracted neo diffracted and prismatic societies as eco prismatic ortho prismatic and neo prismatic societies Next we'll take a look at what is clect C L E C T clect which is a term used by Fred W Riggs So he uses this term clect uh, to denote a typical prismatic group which uses modern and associated methods of organization but retains goals of a transitional type which is diffuse and particularistic particularistic okay Thus, uh, CLECT combines features of club of diffracted societies and sects of the fused societies. CLECT represents officials belonging to a particular group or community and the government officials who belong to that only serve members of the CLECT and ignores everybody else. So, a CLECT normally combines clubs of diffracted societies with sects of fused societies next we'll take a look at shala model shala model denotes the parlor or auditorium or room or a government office fred ricks by denoting shala model of bureaucracy indirectly refer to the transactional or administrative societies that existed in india pakistan and bangladesh A prismatic society's administrative subsystem is thus termed shala model where behavior and performance is influenced by parochialism as a result there existed no uniform rules and regulations for everybody in that model in other words few people get preferential treatment or more benefits from the government in a shala model 
according to Fred W. Ricks. Next, we'll take a look at polycommunalism. This is a state of existence of a prismatic society where various ethnic and religious groups exist side by side in constant hostile interaction with each other. So while doing social service, these groups lack proper motivation. Polycommunalism is a system in which organized groups make demands but are not assimilated in societies. So this sums up prismatic society. Thank you.